इंडिया के नेबरिंग नेशन से जो रिलेशन हैं वो काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है सारे नेबरिंग नेशन के साथ सो टुडे द टॉपिक फॉर द लेक्चर इट इज़ इंडो बांग्लादेश रिलेशनशिप इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज फार एज यू एस एस बी इज कंसर्न एंड दिस टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी डिलीवर्ड बाई सिद्धार्थ हुई इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इज अपकमिंग एन सी सी स्पेशल एंट्री सो मस्ट वॉच टिल दी हैं जय हिंद which shares 4906 kilometers of a border a country having 50 years of diplomatic and geopolitical relations with us a country which has its own autonomous and a liberation pact signed with us yes gentlemen it's none other than bangladesh bangladesh is a country which is a neighboring country in situated in no- north eastern side connected to the seven sisters However, it also shares its coastal borders with India. Good morning, gentlemen. My name is Siddharth Puri, and I would like to talk on the topic India and Bangladesh relations. Talking about the relations, in earlier times, in 16 December, basically, in 1971, Bangladesh got its autonomous value, its autonomous name, and got separated itself from the Eastern Pakistan. Seeing to this, it got situated. near west bengal which is presently known as the bangladesh seeing to this a neighboring country india started developing its developing its relations with it however we share very common culture one of the basic element which both the countries share is the national anthem the national anthem of both the countries are written by the same writer our honorable rabindranath tagore However, this country shares its trade and investment policies in a very, in a in a very diplomatic matter. However, we share different products and different goods and services which are quite essential for each of us. For example, machinery, cereals, oil, gas, and other coastal, uh, other other coastal goods and services. However, we we both the countries share near about fifty four common rivers which are connected to the Bay of Bengal. and india and bangladesh are quite planning towards the blue economy so that they can share both the benefits together saying to this there is also a gas pipeline of 130 kilometers connected to both the countries from which india gives 4 ton of diesel to the bangladesh for generating their energy talking about energy bangladesh requires more quantity of energy as it is also the one of one of the fastest growing economy in the asia however it needs to get more good ties with nepal and bhutan and requires a huge amount of electricity from there so for that bangladesh also took an initiative and a step to come with india and develop a corridor which connects india bangladesh nepal and bhutan with this we got we get we get to understand that yes india and bangladesh carries a healthy relation after 2015 when our honorable prime minister visited bangladesh they signed a 22 agreements mous and however a coastal security pact in which it was written that they'll be sharing the coastal sur- surveillance radar systems with each other in mongol and capital in capitano uh ports however they also shared the coastal security and brought a concept of blue economy to each other seeing to this both the countries also evolved a new relationship by having both the transportation facilities through roads they also made road transportation and connectivities through to the northeastern states and help in developing of the northeastern Uh, north eastern states of our country however we can see that there are a bit of human trafficking issues which is handled by the bsf and they both share a very mutual understanding in this seeing to this there was a law and an amendments which came in 2019 of ca and nrc of which bangladesh opposed because there were some refugees who were in a trouble of it but as considering it as an internal matter india took it as a very smart diplomatic way and handled the situation in such a manner that the relationship of india and bangladesh did not got disturbed due to this however we also see that there are very high level meetings and dialogue meetings done between both the countries 
so that they can share each other's benefits and can help in growing each other. The, it is a very strategic location for India because China is trying to develop its good relations and more connectivity to Bangladesh. However, we know that China has already taken more steps of making more good relationships with Pakistan and on the top side of Afghanistan and other neighboring countries which are situated with India. However, it is also trying to cover it cover itself through Bangladesh also. But being a neighboring country, being a helpful country and having good relations on linguistic, culture and geopolitical and diplomatical relations, India and Bangladesh have more stronger relations than Bangladesh and China has. However, we all know that Bangladesh is the sixth largest country, uh, sixth largest country which uh, does export to us. And however, India is the fourth largest importer of Bangladesh. So, sharing a border of 4,906 kilometers really means a lot. So, what I well, at last I would like to conclude by saying that both the countries share a very good relations with each other. However, the public and the people living on the borders also share a very healthy relationship because of the education, medical facility, transportation and tourism is quite easy to access from there. Thank you.